Rail passengers didn't have the happiest Christmas. Thousands were stranded by engineering problems in London that have cost the network rail boss his bonus. Now it's time for the annual fare rise. On average, tickets will be 2.2% more expensive, although the prices set by the government, including season tickets, are going up by 2.5%. It is the lowest increase since the coalition took power, but it follows years of above inflation rises. So a season ticket from Cambridge to London has gone up by £824 since 2010. A season ticket from Newcastle to Middlesbrough is £483 more expensive than it was five years ago. On board the sleepy 815 from Cambridge this morning, regular commuters had mixed views about the price of their ticket. I think they can get away with it because there's no other way of me getting into work. I couldn't drive, it's just unfeasible. So people have to, like myself, have to get the train and they know that. So they've pretty much got you over a barrel, haven't they, really? If I calculate the cost of actually travelling in by car, um, and I don't own a car because I can travel in by train, it's not too much difference actually. So at the moment I think I'm getting value for money. I used to live north of Cambridge, um, which was obviously a longer commute but it was also more expensive. Um, so we've already made the decision to move closer to London, um, which has cut down my commuting time but has also helped to reduce the fare, which is I actually pay more for my train expenses than I do for my living arrangements. The government gets criticised every time it puts prices up. So why does it keep doing it? Nobody likes to see ticket price increases. I, I wish they weren't necessary. We are investing records amounts into our railway industry. Over the next uh, four years, Network Rail will spend £38.5 billion investing in our railway uh, system. Here at Birmingham New Street, major reinvestment as far as Birmingham New Street station is concerned. At stations across the country, we're seeing that kind of investment. Labour says it would do things differently. The people who have the least voice in the running of our railways are the public themselves, and that's something that Ed Miliband is absolutely determined to change. You know, we need a passenger voice, because if you have a strong passenger voice, you won't have the kind of rip-off railways that you've got under David Cameron. Where exactly does all the money go? Well, for every pound spent on a ticket, 47 pence goes on staff and maintaining the trains and track. 26p goes on things like this. We're the first journalists allowed in here. This is the brand new, soon to be open station at Northampton. After fuel, the cost of leasing the trains and the cost of servicing the debt, it leaves three pence in the pound. That's the average profit for the train companies. The government wants passengers to pay a bigger share of the rail bill. So price rises look set to carry on for some years yet.